But it doesn't take but a casual reading to go into Corinthians and understand what the Holy Spirit says through Paul as to how we relate to civil ordinances. And we know that we're living in the world, and so therefore we live by their laws and their rules. And as much as is possible, we live peaceably with all men, the Scripture says. But he said when it comes to governing yourselves, when there's discrepancies within and among yourselves, who deals with it, us or the secular, the civil courts? We do. And the church understands that because we're called out. We have nothing to do with them. We don't even consider looking to civil arbitration. Everything is determined and directed by who? The church. We don't believe that today. We say we do. And we think it's great for everybody but us. It's good doctrine, but bad practice. Now, the reason we're going to spend this time in study, beloved, is because this man of sin is emerging, because the secret power of lawlessness is on the rise, because Satan has never used any other tactic but divide and conquer, He has never used any other tactic, but specially looking to every individual heart saying, you're the exception, you should be exalted, you are supreme, your understanding is truth, all truth begins and ends in your perception. And it's what started in the Garden of Eden, and it's what's going on today, and it's the greatest detriment to you and I making it to heaven. And so God created a safeguard. God created an institution that doesn't let you live to yourself and think too highly of yourself and squander your life on yourself and trust in yourself. And it's called the church. As we begin to look through the scriptures, and the thing that we want to challenge our, our, our own lives with through this study is, am I a part of the church? 